Many of our grandparents have remembered the Great Depression and passed down frugal living advice. The majority of them acquired invaluable skills and endured difficult circumstances. As a result of the 1929 stock market collapse in the United States, there was a catastrophic global downturn known as the Great Depression. The Great Depression lasted from 1929 to 1939. Many believe that we are heading back to the same economic situation in the present day. Saving money and learning how to use it more wisely is more important than ever during these tough economic times. Great Depression survivors have left behind a lot of helpful advice. Here are 50 of the finest frugal living tips to help you save money and live more consciously, ranging from preparing cheap meals to buying wisely. Barter services. You may barter services with your neighbor if, for example, she can hem your jeans and you prepare a fantastic loaf of banana bread. Use electricity sparingly. Reduce your monthly energy costs by switching to energy-efficient appliances, installing programmable thermostats, and turning off lights and gadgets when not in use. Hang your clothes. No matter the season, you should avoid using a dryer. When the weather is fine, hang it outdoors. When it's chilly, bring it inside and hang it by the fireplace. You may get drying racks at thrift stores and garage sales. As an extreme hint, try washing your clothes with your hand instead of using the washing machine. Create a stockpile. Make a stockpile of your favorite foods. Older generations still practice this. Find a place in your house where you can put shelves. It could be a storage space, an extra room, or a basement. Non-perishable food products may be stored there in excess or in larger quantities than is typical. Use a little amount of money each week to begin stockpiling up. You have enough food to last for weeks or perhaps months if anything were to happen. The results will be slow in coming but worthwhile in the end. Ignite the oven once. Toast some bread, make some muffins, and cook a whole chicken for the week's lunches while dinner is cooking. Cook at home. Avoid eating out as much as possible and cook at home. This is a fantastic approach to getting cheaper food while still eating better meals devoid of chemicals and preservatives. Seek out sales. Save money on groceries by taking advantage of promotions and coupons. There are sales at the supermarket every week. By doing so, you may save a lot of money on food while still getting to enjoy all of your favorites. Raise small animals. Raise goats for cheese and milk and hens for eggs and meat. If you have adequate land and reside in a rural region, think about raising pigs and cows. Avoid credit cards. If you haven't saved up enough money, resist the urge to shop. Instead, put aside any spare cash until you have enough to cover the cost in full without resorting to borrowing. You should only carry a library card in your wallet. Stop buying disposable items. Get rid of the paper napkins, paper towels, and wipes. Wipe your face with a napkin, clean your hands with a towel, and use rags to clean up. Plant a garden. You may save money by growing your own food rather than purchasing it. This is a fantastic method for saving money on food and always having access to delicious, seasonal produce. Following World Wars I and II, the Victory Garden gained popularity as a means of relieving wartime strain on the nation's food supply. Food shortages were reduced because the government made it acceptable for individuals to cultivate their own food. During these eras, this was a way of life in the United States. Eat Leftovers Repurposing leftovers into new dinners or snacks might help you save money. You may, for example, take a different approach. Make a fantastic stir-fry with leftover chicken or a simple breakfast dish with leftover rice. This is a simple method for lowering your food spending. Compost. If you have enough land, turn your food waste into nutrient-rich soil for next year's garden and use the compost to trade services with friends and neighbors. Composting might save you money while also benefiting the environment. Use cash. Many of our grandparents paid for everything with cash. To pay their bills, they would place their cash in envelopes. There was no such thing as a debit card, and checking accounts were rare. You may use the cash envelope approach to help you budget your money. Buy quality items. Look for high-quality products that will endure for many years while shopping for new clothing, furniture, or appliances rather than concentrating on fashionable fads that will likely go out of style shortly. Find free entertainment. Look for things to do in your area that won't break the bank, including free concerts, outdoor movies, or hiking. It's possible to have just as much fun without breaking the wallet by engaging in these activities with loved ones. Card and board games are great options for relaxing at home. Create a plan. Set up a plan. Waiting till the last minute often results in stress and increased expenses. Whether it's for Christmas, an emergency, retirement, or returning to school, you should always have a plan. Plant your fruit. 
Planting fruit trees like apples, pears, and blueberry bushes is a cheap method to get fresh berries and other fruit for canning and baking. Such practices are essential to traditional frugality, and they will provide you with a steady supply of fresh food for months. Scale down. It's possible that the price may go down significantly if you downsize your house or vehicle. Perhaps you don't need a home that's 3,400 square feet in size. Think about downsizing to a smaller house and accepting the idea that your children can get along well sharing a bedroom. Buy used items. One of the most excellent methods to save money on clothes, furniture, and decor is to shop secondhand whenever possible. Thrift shops and internet marketplaces can provide excellent opportunities to save money when shopping for gently used items. Have an emergency fund. Saving up some cash in case of emergencies is usually a good idea. Having some money set aside for unexpected expenses, whether in a savings account or a coffee jar hidden beneath the apple tree, is helpful. Make one trip. In other words, if you're heading into town, don't bother making many trips. It's more economical to do errands on the same day. Reduce your driving trips to save money on petrol and extend the life of your cars. This is a classic tip for cutting costs during the Great Depression. Extreme advice. Drive just one vehicle and share it with your family. Buy less things. Most of us buy more for the experience than out of any real sense of need. Learn to distinguish between your desires and your necessities. Do not make unnecessary purchases. Work together. People relied on one another a lot more during the Great Depression. When a roof in the area needed to be replaced, everyone chipped in to make it happen. During Mama's labor, the neighbors kept an eye on the other kids in the neighborhood. The delivery of casseroles was made. Provide assistance to those in need. Congratulations on making it to this part. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. Minimize waste. Reduce your total consumption. Recycle wherever possible. And compost your food scraps instead of tossing them away to help cut down on waste. Avoid meat. Meat should be eaten less often. Consume less meat or try vegetarian dishes. The spaghetti and meatballs or the stir-fry with the single chicken breast sliced into bits may be the main course. For a longer shelf life, serve over rice. Be mindful of spending. Pay attention to how much money you're spending and try to cut down on unnecessary purchases like daily coffee and snacks or expensive cable packages you don't watch. Try to save water. This entails turning off the water while you brush your teeth, taking shorter showers or having a shower just once every other day, and filling up your watering can as you wait for the water to heat up. Reducing the amount of water you consume is advised unless it is free. Take up frugal hobbies. Take up simple hobbies like cooking, crafts, and gardening, which may boost your finances while giving you a creative outlet and a feeling of fulfillment. One of the best money-saving advice from the Depression. Take no notice of the Joneses. You'll go into a whirlwind of fear of missing out if you try to keep up with all your neighbors and the things they purchase and drive. Instead, focus on what you're doing and don't deviate from your plans. Lower taxes. Consider making retirement or charity contributions to lower your taxable income and retain more of your hard-earned money. Take care of what you have. Taking care of your vehicle, wardrobe, and house can save you a ton of cash in the long term. Repairing a roof leak before water enters your home and damages your possessions is far more cost-effective than waiting after the damage is done. It was an excellent means of cutting costs during the Great Depression. Be frugal with self-care. Affordably priced services like salon visits or upscale spa treatments may be replaced with less expensive options. Use what you currently have to style your hair and ask a partner to give you a foot massage. You may accomplish the same goals on a tighter budget by doing these things. A DIY spa day at home or taking baths with natural ingredients are two frugal ways to treat yourself. Enjoying these easy pleasures can be very relaxing and energizing without spending a lot of money. Limit loads. When doing laundry or dishes, only wash entire loads. If you need to use water or electricity, it's better to wait until you have a full load. Engage your children. Involve your children or loved ones in your economic endeavors, such as cooking, gardening, and do-it-yourself projects. Your children may learn the worth of a dollar as you urge them to use their creativity and try new things by doing this. Unplug the cable. This may also apply to mobile applications and online video providers. Connect an antenna to your TV to get free access to local stations and stop wasting your time watching endless episodes of Chicago Fire on Netflix. Create a budget. 
Maintain a focus on frugality by recording your spending and setting up a budget. Keeping this in mind might encourage you to make more budget-friendly decisions all through the year. Don't do fancy landscaping. Landscaping doesn't have to be complicated to make your house look good. Learn how to get free plants and ask your family, friends, and co-workers for plants when they get rid of some. Most people probably weren't too worried about weeds in their gardens. It is an excellent way to save money from the Great Depression. Make your own. You have easy access to a lot of resources that can help you learn new skills. Want a new table? Use old wood to make your own. When you can make clothes for less money than buying them, make them. Learn butchering skills. You may save money by buying your cattle and pig hole and butchering them yourself if you don't have a farm. It will be cheaper to perform the task yourself and buy from the farmer who reared the animals. Go on a hunt for some elk, rabbit, and deer. Next, slaughter some of your own. Make handmade presents. Don't just let your artistic abilities gather dust. Put them to good use by creating valuable items for other people. Take food and drink into account. Homemade cookies are always well received. Get a second job. My great grandfather would come home from one job, have supper, and then go to another. A second job might be the solution to financial difficulties. Fix it rather than replacing it. Fixing things around the house rather than replacing them may help you save money and teach you new skills. You don't need to be a professional handyman to solve most issues. All it takes is a little trial and error. Control your emotions. Have you seen the internet meme that reads, happy, target, sad, target, tired of waiting, target? Just because you're feeling something doesn't imply you have to buy anything. Preserve what you create. Mastering the techniques of canning and dehydrating will allow you to save food for use throughout the year, whether you're making a batch of soup to freeze or preserving tomatoes from your garden. Borrow when you can. If you're just going to use something rarely, it could be better to borrow it from a friend or family member than to purchase it. You probably won't use a drink dispenser or a three-tiered crock pot every day. You may try borrowing them before you commit to purchase. This is just another of the Great Depression's money-saving tips. Reuse what you can. Instead of buying new plastic containers, reuse old glass jars. Save plastic bags from takeout orders to store leftovers in. Implement a freeze on everything except absolutely required expenditures. And recycle or repurpose whatever you can. Always be on the lookout for free, reusable items that may be put to a different use. Replace the oil. One simple approach to save money is to do minor maintenance tasks on your car. With a bit of assistance from YouTube or a book, you can change the oil, replace fluids, and even replace your brakes. Sew and mend your clothes. Quilts and new outfits for children may be made from recycled fabric. You can make your own aprons, curtains, and pillows using some basic sewing skills and materials. Create more frugal recipes. Simple, inexpensive, and tasty foods may nevertheless provide essential nutrients for your body. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content.